okay, so when I go to sleep at night, a lot of times what I do if I'm not absolutely so tired that I fall asleep immediately is that I do this thing in my head where I imagine something like a situation that I would like to be in or like going on a date with someone or like being in a movie. I Mary Sue myself into it. And so like Pride and Prejudice, the other, I feel like a few nights ago, I was like, what do I want to dream about? What do I want to daydream about? And I was like, ooh, I could be in Pride and Prejudice. Uh, and then I tried to put myself in Pride and Prejudice and I was like, I do not know how to speak this English. So I cannot like, I cannot immerse myself enough in my own brain to pretend that I'm in Pride and Prejudice to fall asleep. So I ended up not Pride and Prejudicing uh, because I am too stupid and I don't know old English. And so I had to find something else to do. I've not watched The Crown. I want to. A heathen devil in that setting. You'd be burnt or drowned. So I, um, what's the other thing? I saw this, there's like always this joke on TikTok that says I've never had an original thought in my life. And I more and more feel that way because there was a TikTok that I saw that was, this girl was lying down and she started punching her pillow and the text overlay said, when I'm imagining a story and I skip the story to the spicy parts and I don't spend enough time on the story. And I was like, damn bitch, I fucking relate. Cause you'll, I'll be like doing my little imagining while I'm going to sleep. And then my, my brain will be like spicy time. And I'll be like, actually, no, I'm still world building and character developing that can fucking wait. My brain's like, but spicy time. It's so fucking funny though. Like, and then someone said that and I was like, damn, I really have never had an original fucking experience in my life. Have I? Luca, thanks for the 11 months. Maladaptive daydreaming and it's a disorder. Welcome to the club. What the fuck? Everything I've got at this point is a disorder. I'd never do that. I'd especially never daydream about being in the Dragon Ball universe and using... I don't even know how to say that, Disco, but I fucking stan. Luca, thanks very much for the 11 months. That's how I rewatch TV shows. What does Lauren say? I ended up scrambling to write it down and not sleeping. I see. You should play Civ. I was playing Civ the other night. It didn't make me sleepy. I used to, um, one of my favorite, uh, maladaptive daydreams or whatever the fuck was, um, in middle school, I remember specifically I was staying at my grandparents in Texas and I would watch a lot of Toonami in the afternoon, which I'm so surprised they let me watch anime on the big screen television in the family room. And I would watch Cyborg uh, 009 or whatever it's called, S. Cryed. I fucking love S. Cryed. And I would watch Yu Yu Hakusho. And I would marry Sue myself into Yu Yu Hakusho. And I would marry Sue myself into S. Cryed. Uh, not Cyborg 009, though. And so I've said it before, but my, my daydreams about Yu Yu Hakusho were. K what is her name? K K Kaori? Can. can Konami, whatever the fuck her name was. It's Yu Yu Hakusho's boyfriend, Yusuke's girlfriend. Bitch, I erased her in my memory. I said, I don't think so. Um, Keiko, that's the one. So, bitch, she got fucking Thanos snapped in my daydreams, because uh, I don't think so. And I would, like, I would either romance Yusuke or Hiei, because Hiei was this fucking short little demon man. I stan. And I had this character in my head where I looked similar to Botan. And I had... So I had a spirit power. Bitch, don't come at me. I'm gonna tell you what it is. You're not allowed to fucking come for me with this. I had tears that could heal and I would save Yusuke's life. <laughs> the, fo the most fucking Mary Sue ass shit as fucking possible. The fucking epitome of Mary Sue. Um, the epitome. JRPG. I, oh, I'm not sure. I like quite a few, I think. The CIA couldn't get this info out of me. Melon, I am exposing myself at any fucking moment. Uh, and so, 
Mary Sue is like when you write yourself when you write a fan fiction and you write a character that is intentionally or unintentionally you in the story a self-insert so my self-insert had healing powers of course i looked similar to botan because i thought botan was really cute um and then i had one for what's the other one i said yu yu hakusho cyborg zero oh s cryed so s cryed was like kind of like x-men but anime um, and there were two dudes in that that I thought were hot. I don't remember their names. And so I had my fucking superpower in that one. I don't remember what it was. Probably I just transferred over the fucking, uh, healing power shit from my brain. Hello, Cat the Bat. And, uh, yeah. Isn't Mary Sue just an OP character? Pretty much. I think Mary Sue is more of, a, like, a self-insert. Like... A lot of people say that the entire Twilight series is uh, Bella is a Mary Sue for Stephanie Meyer because she's written to almost be kind of Mormon and stuff. She has a similar appearance to Stephanie Meyer. So it's basically like she wrote... It's true. Okay. She basically wrote herself into this fucking romance story, which, I mean, do what you want, do what you want. <laughs> 